So I've been working in Logic a bunch lately, and there are so many things that Logic has that GarageBand does not have. However, I have started to realize that there are a few things that with a little bit of work, you could have some of these same exact options that are in Logic. You could do that stuff in GarageBand. And today we're gonna specifically talk about the Auto Drummer. This is a window in Logic, and I just wanna show you exactly what I have in Logic that I'm gonna show you how to make yourself inside of GarageBand. So here is the drum kit, just like a normal auto drummer. Uh, the difference is when I come in here and I'm choosing my patches, I have something called producer kits at the bottom here, and these are all the different kits, and you can see they have a little plus symbol next to them. What that means is that I can come up here and click on this arrow, and boom, I get all of those drums itemized individually, right? So here are the overheads, here's the kick. This is the kick out. I have some effects running on these ones. Um, this is the, also the snare top, and this is their snare bottom. You have the hi-hat, toms, and all these things. It's really, really awesome to be able to have these parts sectioned out individually for control, you can add effects, all that kind of stuff. So what I've done in this particular case, and this is where I think it you know, really shines, is uh, I really wanted a big reverb on my snare in this song, and uh, this is what that sounds like. Right? This is my Music Monday song that's coming out on Monday. Um, but anyway, this is what I want to show you how to do to pull your drums apart inside a GarageBand. So let's open up a brand new GarageBand project window. All right, so here's the GarageBand window. I've already opened up a drummer. This is Darcy playing the Bluebird kit, and that's important to note what kit she's playing. Here's what it sounds like. Nice, easy, basic beat. Now, if we want to be able to pull these drums out and work them individually, here's how you do that, okay? So we're gonna open up a new track. We want it to be a software instrument. We're gonna create that, okay? So then we're gonna come over here to the sounds. We're gonna go to drum kit. And again, we're looking for this Bluebird kit, right? So that's right here. And just for, you know, let's just say we're gonna pull the kick, the snare, and the hi-hat out of this kit. Uh, just for time's sake, you could do all of it if you want, but I'm just going to pull those three instruments out of the drums, okay? So here's my MIDI track, and I need to duplicate this, so Command D two times, and here we go, okay? So now I'm going to come up here to the original drum track, and I'm going to copy this, okay? So with the Command C, I'm going to copy it, and then I want to go to the second track and paste it in there, okay? So now you can see I have all the MIDI information, okay? So open up the editor window, and what you want to do is identify these individual notes, right? So hi-hat, hi-hat, snare, kick, okay? So what we want to do is select all of these. Really easy way to do this is simply click on these keys here, and you get them all. With a shift, I can get these ones too, and I think it's those ones. Okay, so those are all the hi-hats, okay? So I'm gonna come in and cut those with a Command X. I'm gonna remove them from there. And I'm gonna come down here and I'm gonna place them on the timeline. So it is important when you start pulling things out that you note where they start. The hi-hat did start on the first beat, so we're fine. Okay, so that's the snare, or sorry, rather the hi-hat pulled out. So now we want the snare drum. We're gonna come down here and we're gonna identify that as this and with this key. So I'm gonna get all of them. Now, like I said before, it's very important that I put this in the right place. So I'm gonna move the cursor to right there. I'm gonna cut this out with a Command X and I'm gonna come down here and I'm gonna paste it in right there. And in theory, we should have everything in the right place. There it is, okay? So now this is the kick, this is the hi-hat, and this is the snare, okay? So there you go. Now you have them individually itemized and you can do whatever you want, right? 
So, like I was saying, you can do whatever you want, right? So let's, just for showing you examples here, uh, let's open up a reverb of some sort. Let's just go to reverb, let's say uh, Space Designer. And let's choose a big, gigantic one. Sometimes you're lucky and you find like reverbs that are designed for drums and stuff. Um, I don't know. Let's just use the big plate. I love this one. Right? How great is that? So, uh, yeah, let's turn these back on and you can hear it. Now, of course, reverb's not the only thing you could add. You uh, can now individually compress the kick, the snare, the hi-hat. You can EQ them individually. You can affect them individually. But the point is, overall, that this is basically what I get in Logic when I open up a producer kit. I get those individual instruments to work with and compress and EQ and all those things, which makes for a much more all-inclusive mixing experience, uh, especially when it comes to drums. You know, one of those big limitations is how you mix drums in GarageBand. You, you know, typically, if you just use the auto drummer, you can't do it. You can't, you know, just compress the kick insanely or put a crazy snare reverb uh, but you can now because I just show you how to do it. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you build your own producer kits inside of GarageBand. I think it's really fun. And I think you guys are going to do great work with this thing and have a lot of fun with it. And I hope you do. And I hope you share all that awesome music with me. I would really love that. Anyway, that's that. I hope you enjoy it. Have a great day. Please hit the subscribe button. Of course, that notification bell is a big, important thing here. I'm going to keep trying to do this. I'm going to keep trying to find things in Logic that work in GarageBand. If you love this idea or you hate it, leave a comment below. Let me know if you like the idea of this new series that I think I can come up with. There's a few parallels that I think I could teach you how to do in GarageBand, like stuff that we do in Logic. And I want to try to do that more and more. So let me know in the comment section below if you like this idea. Now it's really it. I'll talk to you later. Peace and love.